Hi Paul, so could you just give us a quick overview of what you've been doing here at uh, Mary Hare Deaf School today? Yeah, I've came and I've, I've, I've met, the, met the kids and they've been asking me a few questions about, about football and about my career so it was good to, good to give them that information and um, I, I think it went well. <laughs> yeah, we had a good Q&A, a couple of cheeky questions as well, weren't there? Yeah, there was, yeah. It's, no, it's, it's good. Uh, good questions and um, they, it also showed that they are, they are interested in, in the game and interested in in sort of footballers and about their their careers and stuff. So yeah, it was it was it was good and it was um, you know it was great to give them that information. How important do you think it is for a club like Reading to be so heavily involved in the community? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's great. It um, gives a bit of I don't know making the kids closer to the players. I think uh, I think there was a, a couple that have been to Reading watch watch us play, and I think I think it's good to to. Be in more contact with with the with the kids, and it's it's, it's great coming to, to the likes of the schools here, and um, just get just just talking to the to the to the to the kids because sometimes they might put us on, I don't know, think that we're we're so far away and stuff, but you know it's it's um, it was just it was good to come and come and meet them. Yeah, they seem really engaged today, and it's great that a local football club can have such a major part in the town. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. And I think. I think uh, Reading, since I've been here, have have been have been very good for that. There's a lot of player appearances and st and stuff. So it's it's a it's a great thing. It's a great thing to have, and the the players are are, are very keen to come and come and get involved in the in the community, which is a good thing.